Good morning, sweet world. I'm Catherine. And I'm Lucy. And we're from Central Illinois. Peace. It is a run around in your diaper kind of morning for this guy. Are you having fun just running around in your diaper? Sam got up with Noah this morning, so I got up with him when he woke up after his nap. I go in there and, well, I wake up to him saying, Dad! 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 Like yelling for Sam. And I go in there and he's still yelling it, and then he sees me and turns around and goes and sits in the corner of his crib and doesn't want me to pick him up. Yeah, that happened. I hold my arms out for me to like get him my like, good morning, and he just sits there and stares at me. Like he wanted his dad to come get him. He wanted nothing to do with me this morning. My goodness. You wanting your daddy? Hi. Say good morning. <laughs> Tongue out. You guys, his stomach's getting so much better. His back skin is like, yeah. if you guys can tell, I don't know if you can tell, but his back, uh oh, is like splotchy, white splotches. You can kind of see it. It's hard in this light, but. It's getting better. Oh my, this kid always ends up recording something that we don't want him to record. <laughs> it's hilarious. We were getting like 20 episodes of Jake the Neverlanding Pirate recorded and we were like, how did this happen? Oh, you know, just a cool dude. Just a cool dude playing with his water table. Put them on, they're really cute. You like when they're on. <laughs> You're gonna put him in there. Okay, that's fine. It's so fun to spin it. You need enough water to spin it. Woo! <laughs> there we go. That's better. Why are you afraid of the sprinklers? You're not afraid of the sprinklers. You're a tough boy. <laughs> how do you say more, buddy? You know how to say more. Tap your fingers. <laughs> tap your fingers, tap your fingers. You can do it, you can do it. Okay, okay, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you do more? There you go. More. Good job. More? Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> he used to clap thinking when I was showing him more that he, I was clapping, but now he gets it. It's his little fingers. People, let me tell you about my best friend. People, let me tell you about my best friend. His name is Blue Dog, and I take him everywhere, and I cry when my mom puts him in the house. But that's why we got it, right? That was the whole reason we bought it. So he'd be attached to that. And want to sleep with him at night. And he does. Oh, hi. <gasps> oh, he scared me. Hey guys, once again, we're teaming up with Audible this month to get you guys a free book. I just finished the book of Ivy, and it was really good. I think I finished it in two days. Audible has a new thing called Whisper Sync, where you can bounce back from your Kindle to listen to it audibly. And it's awesome, and I really loved it. So you guys should try it. And you guys should check out the book of Ivy. I liked it because it was like, a dystopian futuristic kind of book kind of like you know divergent and those types of things so if you enjoy those young adult um fiction books then check it out i think you ah, really enjoy so it that's what jen listens and reads too we've yeah. always been wondering because jen is obsessed with books <sighs> dedicates hours every single day especially no, at no, night no, no. the thing is i go through phases i go through like a week where i'll read a lot of books and then i'll go a month without reading a lot of books so I'm in my reading and listening phase. She does better than me. The thing that I should have done on the race is have an audiobook because that's what Aaron did and he did a lot better biking than me because it just like put him in his own special place. Yeah. That's what I should have done. Yeah. Anyways, you guys know about Audible. They you have 180,000 books to choose from, which wow. is a lot. So if you don't want to read the Book of Ivy, you can read something else. Uh, Audible, something else. I, Audible expert. Yeah. You can listen on your phone, you can listen on a Mac or PC, and we're giving you guys the opportunity to get a book for free, so go to mm -hmm. audible.com slash Samica. Noica. No, I'm just kidding. Slash <laughs> Samica, and you can get a free book on yeah. us. But I recommend the Book of Ivy. The Book of Ivy. I do. That is Jen's good. current 
top book and of really, the month. But the only thing I'm upset about is that the sequel doesn't come out until November. I saw that. There's a book of Ivy too. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm always doing well. my research for, you know, future <laughs> gifts. So anyways, guys, audible.com slash Samica. It's really cool. You can get a free book. Let us know what you guys are listening to. Or like Jen said, Whisper yeah. Sync. You can listen. Or read. And read. At the same time. And it well, syncs no. up. Back and forth. Yeah, I guess you could try that. No, That'd be interesting. There's been a common theme lately, and that is a lot of our friends have been on TV. We have like a lot of yeah, my famous friends. Goodness, seriously. Every time we turn on the TV, we see someone new. Today, we are about to tune in to The Daily Share, which I think it's on HLN. Is that headline news? Is that what the channel is? It's like a CNN channel, I think. Anyways, Tyler and Haley are going to be on there. They're interviewing them right now, probably via Skype or something like that. And we're really excited to watch it, so... Let's tune in. You're watching, searching, playing, sharing, shopping, and creating. Dear Greg, I'm going to marry your daughter. I always thought of how I was going to ask for your blessing. Oh my gosh! I wish you were here to hand your baby girl off to me. Oh my gosh. I want to be the man who shares her love. I'm going to cry, they're on TV. Drive Tyler! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll make you proud to call me your son. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that was the latest vlog by Tyler Shelton. He's a 21 year old photographer who's documented <laughs> every single day of his 20s. Now, from the most memorable, like his proposal to his girlfriend, Haley, that you just saw, to the most mundane, like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna take you through days in the life of me. This is gonna be the document. <laughs> they dug <talk> deep. <laughs> College kid, online. So that was Tyler. Oh. Whoa! Look at almost it. two years ago, just a couple months oh. before his. They watched your flight delay vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you can see like the ones they clicked on. Happy birthday! That video. Has been viewed more than. Oh, look at Noah! <laughs> <laughs> and his fiance are joining me now via ah! Tyler. Tyler, Hi there, Haley, fiance. <laughs> How's it going? Going really well. So tell me how you got the idea to start doing this vlog. Well, I mean, the idea came from just. I've watched YouTubers for a long time and a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought. Dang, girl, you looking good. Every day. TV 20s. looks good on them. In your 20s, it's like the most transitional part of anybody's life. Yeah, and, uh, shout out to yeah, like, There's just so much that happens. It's Blogger the fair. transition from being a kid to, to an adult. And like the, the decisions you make and the opportunities that come in your 20s really uh, kind of like influence the rest of your life. So that's kind of like where the inspiration came from. Now, we just so. got to see the proposal video, and that was on a trip to Europe, and you got that funded through Indiegogo. Tell me about how that Oh, came my out. gosh. Yeah, uh, we actually, earlier this year, we set up an Indiegogo campaign, and our fans are, like, they're amazing. We call them the tribe, and uh, they really came through for us. Uh, nothing but, like, love and support. We, we started a, a fund to go to Europe. Oh, yeah. And I to told him like to, to I haven't been paying to close do, enough attention. I told him to touch his ear like twice. I wonder if he'll remember. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if I would remember. I'm kind of nervous. Up to our fans and uh, gave him all the opportunity to actually like become a producer as a part of this project. And it was like, it was look at this. They're in the kitchen. Tuck, like, Tyler Haley. Never, uh, thought that it would be. Oh, look at their Instagram. <laughs> Now, and I can't have Haley right there without addressing this. What is it like for you to be, I guess, now your queen of Tyler's tribe? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. We started this, um, well, two years ago, like Tyler said, um, he had this crazy idea that we were going to video our lives every day. And I was like, who is going to watch that? <laughs> A bunch of folks, thousands of folks. <laughs> yeah. So it's just awesome to see it all, you know kind of working out for us and it's it's great to have you know those memories that we have now touching your Tyler <laughs> go back and watch them whenever we want yeah. that's so awesome let's watch one of your most popular videos it's called inspirational graffiti you have a wide variety of those so let's watch this one <laughs> wow this is wow awesome. this is like a live by <laughs> what is this I just want to be <laughs> a real artist 
This is what we call the art bridge. <laughs> Somebody wrote it. Last season. Somebody wrote it on this bridge, this is the art bridge, because there's always stuff on it. Tyler, what do you think it is about your videos that is connecting with people so much? I don't know. I, I don't. I think we don't really try too hard. I think we try to keep it as real as possible. And I don't know. I just I try to put a lot of time into all of our videos. And um, I don't know. Maybe it's just like the extra work. Honestly, I. I don't know. There's no like secret formula. We're just we're just blessed, honestly. Like we're just really lucky to like have the support that we do and be in the position that we are. It's like <laughs> we're just really grateful for everything that's happened. But you're saying you're not doing anything special, and it, I mean, it, of course, this is going to take time. You're a student. You're a photographer. Um, you're planning a wedding now. How do you find the time to vlog every day? Ugh. I, I just try to turn on the camera and, and you know, like, try to just... YouTuber. Vlogging his 20s. Throughout our days, like, whether it's just going to the store and picking up some milk or just uh, getting a present for your grandma on Mother's Day, it's like... It, I try to just follow those storylines, and I guess it really resonates with people because it is relatable. It's not flashy. It's just... Our people. Real life. And I try Those to are our people on TV. In a more artistic way, I guess. I don't know. I, I guess that reality is what people are relating to. Let's watch another one of your most popular videos. You're covering I Will Follow You Into the Dark by Death Cat for Cutie in this one. Waiting for it. It's a spark. Yes! Oh my the young gosh! Man, the young man's got talent. Wow. But put me on the news! This is really getting to see who you are through... This is what you hear, she's like, wow. No, if no was here right now, I'd go, wow. Do you want to continue to share your life and your 20s with the world, Tyler? The reason, the reason I want to just continue doing this is to capture moments like this that we've, we've kind of had together. And it's just so cool to look back and just, you know, to show our future kids and everything, and to show... Yo, there's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, cool! I'm well, putting you on the news! Tell her you put us on the news! <laughs> uh, hey, Tyler, thank you guys so oh, much for joining us here on The Daily oh, Share. That's and so best fun. Oh, that's so fun. I look forward to seeing that wedding on your gosh. Oh, my gosh. Thanks for having us. Right, oh, I love it. it. We'll be counting down the top ten stories... That was a long segment. Yeah, that was That awesome. was long. They went that into depth. Awesome. Like, that was really cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys are awesome. We love you guys. That's so cool. So you cool. Share Yo, what's up? We're showing Dehan and Aaron Tyler and Haley's special real quick. And I mentioned to Tyler that he should like have like a signal to say hi. And I told him to touch his ear twice. So he barely got it on camera because they rolled his Instagram page right before that. But look at this. Ready? It's quick. More, more than I ever asked. Uh, <laughs> there was! Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. For some reason, I still get really shy when I vlog in public or when I'm like vlogging outside and I think no one's around and then there's one person around and we're the only two people around and then it's like, why is that girl holding a camera up? It's like super awkward. At least I feel awkward and uncomfortable. And I shouldn't. I've been doing this for a year and a half, which, you know, You'd feel like you'd be totally fine doing it in public, but I'm still not. <laughs> Which is hilarious. And I should be totally fine, but it's it's just funny. Some people are just totally fine. They're natural. They just hold the camera and they're totally fine in public. First day, but for me, who's a naturally shy person, I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> you guys might not think that I'm a shy person because I'm... Generally, like I've become more outgoing as I've gotten older, but man, I used to, I for some reason high school and big settings and where I don't know anyone, a lot of times I'm like super shy. But that kid's not, <laughs> which I'm kind of happy about. This is how he plays at the park now. He just wants to push whatever I pushed him in to come. Yeah. You gonna push it? Found it, Noah. Okay, fine. Eat that grass. Eat the grass. Maybe you'll learn from it. Yeah, see, you don't like it. Stop putting it in your mouth. Guys, it's so cute watching him. Well, okay, he's flung out half of the rice, but it's so cute watching him get little spoonfuls and feed himself. Tonight, 
is ball night. It's been a while since I've played basketball, a couple weeks, but I'm gonna go play because I gotta get that ejercicio. Gotta keep the weight off. Don't wanna be that fat daddy that can't get out of his chair. So I'm gonna go get some food at a food truck right now with some of my friends and Jen and Noah because uh, there's some food trucks like here. So you. yeah, guys, act tough. I got Dehan's backpack on. Get Squad that. goals. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The struggle. I feel like I'm being pulled between two places. It's tough when it's not busy and people are standing there just watching you and you feel bad like either way you go. I want to get something from both trucks and support both businesses. Over here we got like this poutine thing. Isn't that a Canadian thing? I've always wanted to try it. Over here we got some like luau uh, Polynesian food. So we'll see what we decide. On the edge of our seats. I know you guys are just on the edge of your seats right now. Jen, what'd you get? Ban me. Ba ban me. Ban me from the vlog. You are no longer I'm allowed no to idea. comment. What kind of food this is? It's chicken, pickled vegetables, no, arugula, like, what, like, style? cucumber. He said it has a Vietnamese sauce on it. Yeah. I think you'll like it. I feel like I need to get a bite without the bread. Hold on. Yeah, let's just dive into no, that no, bite. No. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> if it was a corn dog. Got me a cherry limeade and we're waiting for my poutine right now. Shout out to Canada. I'm really excited to eat this. The man, the chef, said that he's been to Canada, maybe studied there. I don't know. I think I'm making things up now. But uh, I had a little taste test and it's really good. So I'm about to dive in. Yo, how's that blue sucker? There's nothing left to show you guys. I ate all of it. It was delicious. The next time I go to Canada, I want to really try it out there as well because I don't know if that was like an Americanized version of it or what. It sounds like I love fries. No, no, no. I love gravy. The they said the gravy was a little spicy too. The poutine doesn't sound like it'd be Canadian fries and gravy. It sounds like, like it's probably has a different pronunciation that's like French or something. Like Maybe it's a French Canadian meal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You Canadians can help me out. You're probably just laughing at me right now. That probably wasn't the best thing to eat because I'm off to ball night. Hopefully it goes well. My zebra shoes will lead me to glory. Peace! I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, you better believe it, I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, get that understood, I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, you better believe it, I'ma be happy, I'ma be good, get that understood. Hi, why aren't you, oh there's your smiles. <laughs> he always smiles at dad.